All right, y'all. I have not been doing this at all. You know, reacting to my favorite scenes and TV, you know, t on TV shows. And this is one of the best shows to ever come out on TV, Boy Meets World. You know what I'm saying? And this was a very serious scene. Very serious scene. And I was surprised when I seen this as a kid. You know, real not really as a kid, but you know, a while back, you know what I'm saying? But this surprised me, cause I didn't know he had it in him. The gangster came up in this man. When it's time to uh he was like a in a way he was a father figure to Sean. You know, you know, Sean, he was always a troublemaker on the show. You know, the pretty boy, the one all the girls like, the smooth motherfucker, you know. And he always got in a lot of trouble. And he didn't identify with a lot of people. Only person that he was really close with was everyone that was in his small little circle. And there wasn't a lot of them, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, Corey was his main guy, of course. Topanga was one of his great friends. And everyone else came along. But this scene here, it's, it's a powerful scene. It just shows what a father would go through. Or someone who's supposed to be like a play a father role and this was some serious y'all so check this out and I know a lot of y'all remember this scene it's a short scene you know but like a man in some long so that's why I'm doing a lot more talking because the scene is not long but I'm about to start doing this reacting to a lot of my favorite scenes again you know I'm gonna be throwing a lot of my good times up in there but we finna check this out From my uh, from Boy Meets World. Let's go. No, that I forgive you for trying to shut us down. You forgive me, Mr. Feeney. More plan. He's just trying to get a rise out of you. Look, you're not dealing with gullible little kids here now, buddy. Now you brought Sean down. Thanks. Now, why don't you just take a hike back to Conland? Now, do you see? How judgmental these people are. No, no, are. listen. Ooh. You see. Look how they all stood up in the background. You know, he wasn't playing, man. He was not playing when it come to Sean. Dude was trying to get in Sean's head. He was. He was trying to get in Sean's head. Have him doing shit, thinking shit. Outside of his family, you know, outside of his, the way he normally is. He was really trying to fuck with him. And I like how, how he jumped in, man. A judgment I made a long time ago. Let me take that back. Hike back to Conland. Now, do you see how judgmental these No, no, are. listen. You mm. see. A judgment I made a long time ago is that Sean Hunter is the best friend that my kid ever had. And I will kill to protect Sean Hunter from people like you. Alan, he would love a lawsuit. I think there's a lot of anger here. And I don't feel that this is a healthy environment for Sean. Well, I really Look, don't. Look, I get... know you don't respect my philosophy, but for kids who feel lost and have an emptiness in their lives, I'm here mm -hmm. to give them a sense of belonging. You can't have Sean. That's up to Sean. Mm -hmm. And in any event, there are many more just like him. So come on, Sean, let's go. Mm. You know, the crazy thing about that scene is that it's a lot of kids out here who actually do go through the shit Sean was going through. And you get that one ign ignorant motherfucker that just know how to throw the right bug in their ear. They're going to go off running, you know what I'm saying? They're going to go off running with that person, thinking that person is telling them what it really is. That's why I take... A supporting cast someone who actually loves that particular person who's who's going through that you know traumatic experience it takes a lot to, to step away take a deep breath and listen to the people around you instead of that ignorant motherfucker that's standing right in front of you for real it takes a lot 
I know that firsthand, you know what I'm saying? I experienced that myself in Chicago. And there's a lot of motherfuckers out there who experience that. A lot of people that's going to listen to this particular uh, thing I'm talking about, reacting to, scene. And I know they're going to relate. You know what I'm saying? So hit me up in the comments let me know what y'all think of that Boy Meets World scene. And what was one of your favorite Boy Meets World? What was your favorite character? What was one of your favorite Boy Meets World uh, scenes? Just hit me up and let me know. I'm really interested. And you know, you never know. I might react to it. I ain't going to make no promises. Because I got so much shit I got to react to. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of shit that's up in this dome. This big ass head of mine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got a dome up there, y'all. Me and my brothers, you know, we were known for having domes growing up. Big heads. <laughs> so as always, thank y'all for tuning in. Until next time, peace, love, and deuces.